Inbox messages are alert to. Oh, don't you dare tell me. Okay, Razorback Armada has returned. This is not what I came in to do. Do we really, really need the Razorback Armada to return? No, not at all. But the Razorback Armada has returned and it is right there. And it is heading for the Strata Relay. Well, good luck because um, I think there might be something in your way that they never ever, ever, ever mention as being a problem. Uh, hi, the orbiter is floating right next to the strata relay, so for you to get to there, you've got to go through an invisible floating fortress. Mm, yeah, I think this... I would love to know what firepower and everything else the orbiter actually has for defensive capabilities, because I want to know if that can take out the Razorback Armada fleet. But probably not. Will of course have received the inbox message that says Nathaniel is making his move blah 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 build this cryptographic ALUs hmm you can only get this from one place uh, one mission one mission type Arcwing missions the best don't know why that was on solo the best Arcwing mission to actually get these from as you can tell, because people are actively playing it. Look, open squads, five. Mobile defense on Neptune. The Celosia, I'm going to get wrong for pronouncing that wrong, node. Mobile defense, Arcwing. That is the best place to get a hold of the cryptographic ALU, because they only drop from Arcwing missions. But luckily, not only on the planet they're attacking. Because there's only one there. And that is also a mobile defense mission, and to be 100% honest, if it wasn't for the fact that nobody plays it, would probably go there more than anywhere else, because the enemies there are much easier to kill. But everybody favors this one, so that's the best place to go, but that is an option. During this mission, and it's great that these missions aren't real jack missions, these are full on, on foot missions. But you do have to actually watch out for... Yeah. You shouldn't be here. Neither should the Bursas, but they are. It's not the Jackal, it's the Hyena Pack. Hello. Hyena Pack. And Bursas are everywhere throughout this. And once you get here, you literally just want to go to that terminal up there. Hello. Uh, okay. You do it. Or that terminal up there. Hack that. Wonder why this isn't working properly. Oh, hello. There you are. Razorback. Because Razorback's immune to damage. The only way to get them damaged at all is to hack that terminal. And a Bursa will come out right here. Whenever you're ready. Hello? Oh, never mind. Hack that. Assuming it actually lets you. Or auto-hacks. And that Bursa will run over to Jackal and knock Jackal down. Because in the meantime, he is immune to all damage types. Takes no damage. Lots of zeros. Uh, hi, Bursa, what are you doing? Could you go in there and knock him down, please? Thank you. And then once you've done that, you can actually kind of do damage to him. Assuming you can find the one part that needs to be damaged. And then rinse and repeat that as many times as you possibly can. Another auto hack. I love auto breaches, the great fun. Uh, that wasn't me. Who did that? Oh, you did that. Okay. It is a quick boss battle. There's really nothing to it. Just what? Just finding the actual nodes that need to be taken out. It can be kind of annoying. That would be the back leg that needs taken out. Rinse and repeat. Quite literally, rinse and repeat. And don't come in with beam-based weaponry. Oh, never mind. He's dead. <laughs> Okay, it takes unusual about four moors to actually take them all out. All of the parts you have to actually shoot. No, you have to make. Oh, that's electrical. Uh, kill everything if you want. You don't have to. You can quite literally just do what everybody else has done and just run to the exit. That is never really that far away from the end of that mission anyway. Then basically rinse and repeat this three times. One of the reasons to actually do this simply comes down to the fact that. Oh, we can protect the strata, really, can we? Uh, 
No, you can get the Gorgon Wraith from this. Many Gorgon Wraith parts. And of course, the 120% puncture mods can also drop from doing these missions. All four of them. Shotgun, melee, pistol, rifle. There is also the arc melee and arc gun heat and status chance mods. The arc gun, magma chamber, is probably the only one you want. Yes, searing steel would be very useful if arc melee was usable with the gravamag. That would put a whole new meaning to heavy melee, but maybe one day. But the arc gun with a gravamag can be used in pretty much any mission. About 90% of missions. And that can go on it quite well. After that last mission, you will of course receive to your inbox a built a Roken Catalyst and 200,000 credits. It is going to take a while. Um... I'm still not sure when this actually started. I'm pretty sure it was many, many hours ago, because usually this is on for about four days. But it wasn't here four hours ago. It could have been, and I literally missed it by seconds. But if we don't destroy it, there's lots of things that are supposed to happen that haven't happened in quite some time. Obviously, Barrow will have nowhere to come. But, yeah, it's the... The components that drop from there, the mods that drop from there, the taking out the Xmas enemies, Exilus enemies, I always get that one wrong, is also great to do during the Razorback Armada. It is a great place. Hyenas. If you want to take out lots of hyenas, or if you want to scan a lot of hyenas, that is one of the best places to go. It's worth it for a lot more than just saving a relay. And with that, we'll leave this off here. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.